Three. We've been trying to set up this recording for so damn long. She just won't stop giggling. It's horrible. She's horrible. Hi guys, long time no see. I know, I'm sorry, I'm terrible. We went to Galaxy's Edge, we got lost, we fought Kylo Ren. The boys wouldn't stop screaming at me over droids. Astromechs are the worst. Anyway, we came back and all of a sudden you guys decided that we were just going to end the world with some kind of something. Special circumstances because this is going on YouTube and we can't say that C word. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Stop. Either way, I've been out of work for way too long so I decided to do something fun for you guys. We are going to make bison meatballs. But not just any bison meatballs. They're going to be stuffed with mozzarella and parmesan cheese. We're also going to show you Mitchell's marinara sauce. I don't know what else to call it. And we're going to be real cheap and because quarantine means we're not a money and we can't make these things on our own. She she meant she meant she didn't push I thought she knew what I was talking. If you're out there and you're a camera person, I, I'm looking to hire. I hurt her feelings. I'm sorry, baby. You know I love you. I'm kidding. You're goofy, but this is fun. Let's get this started. Now, normally I prefer to use real garlic, but I'm a dumb dumb and I also kind of short on funds. Aren't we all these days? So we're not going to use real garlic, but normally I prefer to cook my garlic beforehand. That being said, I don't have that, so we're just going to go ahead and turn up the heat. While that's getting hot, we're going to go ahead and add two things of tomato sauce, diced tomatoes. I normally don't use this much, but my dad's coming over for dinner. And I kind of want him to be able to eat. Isn't that nice of me? That was tomato paste. That was tomato sauce. Oh. I can read. Facebook land, I can read. I have, I, I, I promise, I know what I'm, I know what I'm doing. I do. We're a mess. It's been a while. I'm sorry. We're also going to add some oregano. Whoa. Too close? Yes. Oreg 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 oregano. I just like a little bit extra. I know it's in the Italian seasoning, but shut up. It's my recipe. Just a pinch of crushed red pepper flakes. And I know, you're thinking, why am I doing the marinara sauce first? It's because it needs time to simmer. It needs time to cook. It needs a little love. Oh, uh, fair warning, if you hear any strange noises, it's not my fault. It's, it's, it's not, it's not me. Um, everyone's doing church within the house right now. Of course, we all understand. A lot of us are stuck in our homes or in hotels, and I really hope that you're out there enjoying the content that I make. Real serious talk. Um, we are going to be putting it up for free on YouTube as well as on Patreon, Facebook, Twitter, literally wherever I can post it for free. For right now, if you enjoy the content, please feel free once things are back to normal. Signing up for my Patreon over at www.patreon.com forward slash Crawford underscore eats or sweets. I don't remember. I'm sorry. It's been a while. I'll double check and I'll get back to you in the post. My kids are also doing their own thing. So again, forgive me if you hear Pokemon battle music in the background and the creakety creak of the stairs. That's just the Hatbox Ghost. We brought him back from Disney. Wait, never mind, it's my mother-in-law. Anyway, back to this. <laughs> Look what garlic. I don't, again, I don't love granulated garlic or garlic powder, but you work with what you work with. Yes, I know. I, I will, when I make an actual recipe card, I will give you proper amounts. I promise there will be a recipe card involved in this, but I've been making this sauce for a very, very, very long time, including at Metro Town. I mean, that place that I work usually. So, it, out of habit, I know exactly what I'm doing. It, I, it looks like a lot of basil, right? But it's not. Look at all that. It's insane. 
Some sugar? Bam! Turn oh. the wrong burner on. I did turn. We're a hot mess. What you need? Insanity. That's okay. We need that anyway. We're going to go ahead and turn that to a medium so that it can start to simmer because I, I, I mean, I kind of got to heat up noodles at some point or other. And last but not least, I know you're getting a great shot of my ear. Salt. It, it, it's a shame. She feels like she was safer on the left side. But really, she should have been over there. Or there. You were worried you were going to get hit. Go ahead, say something. This is for giggles. It's all a goof, a gaff, a goof, a gaff, a goof. I can't use this anymore. Quarantine issues. Did I do that for fun? Or did I do that literally just for the giggles? We'll never know. We're going to mix that all together and then I'm going to let that get to a boil. And then I'm going to turn it way down so it just sits here and simmers. Because we like to simmer. Your marinara sauce should always, 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 always simmer for at least one hour before you actually eat it. I know, you're only getting my hand gestures. Make sure. See, she pans up when I try to make a gag. She doesn't get it. Uh, no, make sure your sauce always marinates for at least an hour. It just makes it taste better. It gets all the flavors in. gets all the juices in. What are you looking at? The show's over here. My face is pretty enough. You don't have to stare at the wall on the clock going, Dear God, we're doing this. She hates me. It's already getting to a boil. I keep forgetting that this particular eye on our oven is just a mess. And you know what? Get, get off the chair, babe. We're going to go do the meatballs. You. I trust you to put that on simmer when it starts to bubble. Not her, though. I'm coming. Do you need the oregano? Nah, man. Okay, okay. So just so you know, this is our mozzarella that we already went ahead and cut up for you because I didn't feel like doing it on camera, especially seeing as Jenny's giving me weird looks. Like that one. <laughs> I wish she would put herself on camera, but she clearly more camera shy than I am. Now, for these bison meatballs, I, I full disclosure, I meant to ground, grab regular ground beef because I needed it for the fat content where it was closer to 50-50 because ground bison meat is really, 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 really dry. So... If you ever do this, make sure you grab a secondary meat to mix it with that has a little bit higher of a fat content. The fat helps it stick together so that it stays in a ball format. Excuse me. Excuse me. We're done. Boom! Oh! Lightsaber. Wait, what? My wife's over me and my uh, and my shenanigans, and I, I can't blame her. She's actually had to deal with me for like two, three weeks now because we went on vacation literally right before everything went down. Um, and, and then we came back, and I got Doom Eternal. Hey, gamer fans! And, and uh, she gets to because I'm not allowed to play that at night. No, you're not allowed to have any of that. That's mine. Um, because I can't play it while the kids are awake for obvious reasons. It's Doom Eternal, Rip and Tear. I play it at night, and so she gets to hear me do my best death metal impressions as I growl in the middle of the night as I kill demons. Onion. Do you need this? No. Crazy lady who lives in my house thought I needed onion for some reason. Like I didn't have it handled. Ah! They, they all, everyone turned and fell for it. Even the camera lady. She was watching.
Are, are you judging the bison meat? Mm-mm. She, she's judging the bison meat. Meaty, 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 meaty. I shouldn't have done that because now I'm going to have to like wash my hands. Don't worry, my hands are clean, audience. I swear that I cleaned my hands prior to doing most of this. Salt, pepper, you know, you, you know how you like your meat seasons. How's everyone doing? Everyone okay? Does everyone need anything? A meal? I, you know, I, I, I think about this, and the last time we had this exact mixing bowl out, babe, was when we did the, um, the rum balls. Remember? Yeah. Back in Christmas time. My cat is out there hunting down a butterfly, and I feel bad for the butterfly. But also sorry for my cat, because I love him to death, but he's an idiot. That was me. <laughs> what, Thomas? Say it! Yeah, because he thought he could catch a butterfly. That's still not enough. You're right, I'm sorry. So we're going to mix our meats together so they're good and 50-50 before we add any of these breadcrumbs. And I know, it looks gross. I'm gross. I'm sorry. You dropped some. Oh, she speaks. I know, it's a miracle. I've been trying to get her to speak on camera for like... How long have we been doing this? How long is this video? There's not a time... In the bowl. Don't worry, I clean the table too. We're not getting... We're not getting the sea word over here. Again, I won't say it because I'd like to get monetized. Yep. Okay, so a uh, quick warning. We're going to have to either figure out that this is going to be done in parts or I'm going to have to figure out some editing software. If you're out there and you know how to edit, teach me your ways. We're going to add a little bit of breadcrumb. Just, just just, a little. I know I said uh, that we're trying to keep it nice and moist and that it locks in, but the breadcrumbs also... Ugh, the breadcrumbs also helps keep it nice and tight. Ain't that right, Ma? That's right. See? The older lady agreed with me. Hey. I, I said older. <laughs> You've been cooking for years. Yep. By the way, this is going on Facebook and I'm tagging everyone. A little bit more. Just, 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 just a pinch. Just a pinch. Don't worry. I, I swear this is easy, guys. It's really, really easy. My wife is no longer smiling. She has the biggest uh, face. I, I don't think she's going to enjoy my, my balls. This is a bad time for Thomas, but what do you need? I'm not saying no Can I do a to his eggs? No. What does this mean? Has anybody fed you, boys? No. Not yet, they have but Daddy's making them. So we're going to take... We're going to eat? We're going to take a little cube. Little cube, little cube. What does this mean? Little cube mozzarella. Give me just a cube. Little cube mozzarella. And we're gonna stuff it in our meat bowl. It, this is literally exactly like we did. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it'd be. But you know what? I like the size. What do you think, baby? Yeah. My ball big enough? Massively appropriate jokes! Actually, could you, Oh, uh, are you using that large pan? Or are you thinking of me? Yeah. What the heck? Never mind. Never mind. Don't worry about it. He was gonna use it. I forgot that you had a separate meal. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> Okie dokie. So we might have to do a little more editing. But this is basically what you're gonna do for your meatballs. And uh, then you're gonna take a pan. I use cast iron normally. 
and a little bit of olive oil at the bottom and you're just going to get it to about a medium to a medium high heat. Did you tell them how many of this is going to make? No, I didn't. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm gambling this will make about 24 meatballs. I'll double check that and get back to you again in post edit. Hopefully I can figure that out. Again, if not, then I will make sure to type out any errors I made. You what? I was going to use that pan, but again, we both have to eat and we both have to cook, so. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to use a cast iron pan to sear these off till they're about a good mm, rare, mid-rare, and then I'm going to put them in the sauce because you want your meatballs to have the flavor of the marinara soaked throughout them. So, it also gives the marinara that yummy, meaty flavor. So you sit that in there and you let it sit, uh, cook and simmer for the last 30 minutes or so of the uh, uh, marinara's cook time. I could have swore I saw a bit of mozzarella. So in the comments of this video, I want you guys to to talk to us, to tell us how you guys are doing, to tell us how you guys are handling uh, the situation that we're currently living in. I want you to tell me what interesting things you want me to cook, and I'm going to take my spin on it and, and make quarantine versions of those things where I use the limited supplies that I have and cook it off for you. It's looking like it's going to be more like 12 to 18 meatballs. You're making really big meatballs. Well, I didn't think that I would have to. You know what? You want to make them? Huh? I don't cook. He can make them and we can freeze them. They'll pro they can probably be smaller than I'm making them there. That Does that make you happy? Yes. She's gonna nitpick from behind the camera. She's so cruel cool to me. Yes, it's already been established on camera that Grandpa will be Thomas. One in piece. Sorry. Set sail for one piece. It's the name. Of Anyone else remember that? The uh, classic One Piece for kids TV nonsense. This is a really bad video. And it's, it, it is, but guess what? It's quarantine vid. All right, guys, we're going to stop here, and I will come back and do uh, part three, which will be the searing of the meats and placing everything. And then hopefully you'll also get it edited in where you get to see a full plate. If not, you'll see a picture of said plating. Just because, again, me and Jenny are still learning how to edit, and we realized that a Google Chromebook does not a good editing software holder make. So we're going to look up some websites, see if we can't edit the video, see if we can't get this all clipped together properly, and if not, we're going to install it in parts. If you also have a good laptop, please let us know, because uh, our youngest built cook on ours, too. Yeah, yeah. Are you, <laughs> you might as well hear the story. Yeah, my oldest son is doing school from home and unfortunately Chris was sitting here watching it with him and accidentally tumped an entire can of coke onto the keyboard so we're dealing with that it's not killing the computer yet that we're aware of just sticky keys just just sticky keys and I had to buy a new mouse but uh, other than that we're, we're doing okay um, Ginny I woke up to Jenny holding an axe over my head last night. Um, again, because between Animal Crossing and Doom, I'm not doing much else, but that's because that's what's giving me lifeblood right now. A and I'm pretty sure I've threatened to murder at least one person every day for the last three days. It's her. Am I stopping? Yeah. We'll see you in a minute. Go. We back! <laughs>
I don't know why I did that, but it had to be done. So we got our sauce simmering. It's been about half an hour since we got that started, so it's getting real nice and pretty. Jeannie's gonna hate me when I say this, but it's got about another half hour to go. I'm just hungry. Camera lady's hungry. Say poor camera lady. Poor, poor camera lady. Boop my snoot. I'm gonna crank up the heat a little bit and throw some of these in here. How do you like your meatballs? Uh, so, what do we say? It, we, we got about 16 meatballs in total, and I'm overpacking this, so I'm gonna go ahead and save the last three. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let them simmer for a little bit on one side. We're just gonna go ahead and roll them around and let them simmer on all the sides. And then we're gonna throw them out of there, and oh my god, my sauce, I cranked it up too high. We're good, I fixed it. Actually, we're gonna take this spoon right here. You're just gonna give them a roll. No, don't you dare stick. Stop it. If they break a little, it's okay. I don't like it when they do it, but unfortunately the, uh, I should have put just a little bit more oil in the pan. But for the most part, they're doing fine. Now, I know the oil's over there, Jenny. Good. What, you want a piece of cheese? Yes. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, well, you, you ran off as I was about to hand you cheese. I'm giving him grief. You need a potty? Yes. A potty? Yes. Okay. Turn that down just a little. Now again, I have never done this recipe before. This is all guesswork coming straight out of my brain, so if it falls apart, I tried, right? If you're wondering why Thomas sounds like we ripped out his vocal cords, it's because he screamed a lot this morning. But that's okay. School, school, going from schooling at school and, and into homeschooling is really, really difficult and a challenge for, I think, all of us, including the college kids out there who are currently facing the same thing. This is going to sound so weird on the internet. When I was your age, we had a quarantine. Couldn't leave our houses, so we made meatballs and talked about it on the internet. She's, she's got the grin on. I know she's trying so hard not to laugh. Little does she realize is that what I'm trying to do is make her laugh and get her to do that cute snort thing that she does when I make her laugh real hard. Nope. <laughs> She's like, you'll never get it out of me. One day, audience. One day. So you're just going to give these another minute or two and they're already nicely browned. I do, again, want them to simmer mostly in the sauce so they soak up all that nice little flavor. So you don't want them too horribly cooked. Because you know, you, you want the sauce to do the work. You want the sauce to get the love of the flavor and I wish you could smell it. it smells good. Um, that's a miracle that Jenny can because she normally has sinus problems that make it so that she can hardly breathe. As a matter of fact, this morning I had to remind her that the idea was to suck the air in and then back out. I, I gotta look. I, I gotta look. I'm in trouble. We're in the dog house now, and I don't care. I live there. What? Okay, okay. In the sauce. In the sauce. It, it. In the sauce. 
You like the sauce? I like the sauce. Hey, we did a classic, just really offensive racial terminology there. Because everyone makes that joke that Italians say, You like the sauce? I'm not Italian, but with a close family friends of ours is, and they'll probably give me shade for it later because I'm pretty sure Sandy's going to see this on the internet. Uh-oh, that one popped open. You can see the cheese. It's in the sauce. And yes, every single one of the every single one is stuffed with cheese, and my wife is going to hate it. Aren't you? Use your words. I don't have words. She doesn't have words to describe me. That's how amazing I truly, truly am. Side note, when... <laughs> I think I already said it, but when you go to buy your pasta, make sure you grab two of the same container because in my rush of brilliance, I managed to get five cheese tortellini as well as five cheese ravioli. I totally intended this to mainly be a ravioli dish, but I got really, really excited about this, I this idea and I kind of just grabbed the first thing I saw. Shame on me. I know better than this. I'm a better chef than this. She's nodding like, yeah. And to be fair, I would have made our own ravioli. But I don't have enough subscribers to afford a KitchenAid. So pasta's, so pasta's hard to make without the proper utensils. We got our water, water going up to a simmer, so we're going to go ahead and drop these. Actually, yeah, yeah. Probably make those dance. Make them dance. Make them dance. The short lady's above my head, and I think she's happy about it for once. I just need a ladder. Huh? I just need a ladder. You, you heard it here, folks. Jenny needs a step ladder. Because most of the time I have to get on my knees to kiss her. Smack. Ow. Poor shame. Poor shame! I can't, I can't get these open. Be right back. Oh my god, he left me. Yeah, talk to the camera. Look at that, she cooks. She cleans. She tolerates my existence and bears my children. You could have done without that last part. I didn't want... It, it's, they, they, those were your idea of a good time. Do you have any regrets? No. Okay. You're just saying that because the internet would hear you. Take me home tonight. We Wait a minute, I am, I'm stuck at home. Take me to your home? Can I come home with you? She really wants me out of this house. Somebody save me. Don't care. How you do it, just say me. Come on, I've been waiting for you. Uh, Kyle, if you're watching this, that was my audition to sing. If you decide to do another band, uh, I don't mean it. I won't do this in front of crowds, but. You know, give give me some uh, feedback because I, I think I sing great, but um, only when I hit the notes. But um bump. This one's gonna pop. I can tell. Can you see it? You see it? You see it? You see it? I was talking to my wife, not you. I'm not well. <laughs> see? I told you. I told. You. Look at it. See? I knew it was going to pop, and there it is. I cheesy. zoomed in. Oh. Not cheesy. One. It's cheesy. It's in the sauce. Okay, go. Stop. Stop. Well, if you stop putting stuff in it. She thinks she knows what she's doing. How's the sauce? Good. 
She says good, but what she means is it's perfect, husband, just like everything you do. Mm -hmm. Except she doesn't mean that because I'm far from perfect. Lord knows if she wasn't around, the children would be gone by now. No. All right, so we're going to let those uh, cook for a bit. We're going to crank up the heat. You might want to turn the heat down on the noodles. We're going to crank up the heat on those just for a little bit, just because... I know my gin 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 is a little bit hungry, but never ever ever try to speed through your marinara. It's just not good if you do. But I'm trying to increase the heat for her sake because the meat still not 100% done. It's about a medium, medium, closure to medium rare, rare right now. And it is ground meat, so remember, if you're using ground meat, it has to be all the way through 165 degrees. That's not me. That's the CDC and food law. But then again, you're cooking at home. So if you want to eat a mid-rare burger, eat at your own risk. We're going to cut for a little bit, let this simmer and do its thing. And uh, hopefully you get a little bit more of, than just a picture of a fully done plate. But um, this has been our cook of... A marinara and bison meatballs. Again, I will give you a proper recipe card at a later date once I've fine-tuned everything. This was just a fun experiment. I hope you really enjoyed everything you got to see today. And now I'm going to steal the camera. Boop! She's on camera! It's zoomed in, smart one. I know it's zoomed in. We've simmered for about 45 min more minutes after we uh, last left. My children are starving. My wife's dying of hunger. She's not even holding up the camera at this point. I literally had to find a standee. It's really weird because I stole some Asian lady from across the hallway, and she does not understand English at all. She's just sitting there staring at me like I threatened her family. It doesn't help that I have a lightsaber behind her, so she probably thinks I'm going to beat her. A anyway, we're going to go ahead and plate this real quick. Uh, I'm just going to do specifically raviolis for this one. You know what? No, I'm going to go ahead and throw the tortellinis. But know that originally it was supposed to be this. And yes, I'm using my hands. Don't worry. They're clean. I swear. That good for you? How many meatballs? Three. Three. Okay. A little bit of extra sauce over the top. And now, my wife's going to tolerate this literally just because it's the way it's properly plated. And I'm not going to do that much, but just a pinch of parm. You can tolerate that much parm, right? Mm -hmm. Asian lady. All right, everybody, there you go. That's it. That's that's the beautiful, lovely plating of spice meat sauce. Oh, my God, that's really good. I didn't even taste it until just now. But I can already tell it's going to be really, really delicious, and I hope you enjoy it. You can find pre-ground bison right now at your local Publix while they're still open for $8.99 a pound. I got that and about $6 of about a pound's worth of ground chuck and ended up making these really delicious meatballs. And that that that's your meal from Crawford Sweets and Gamer Eats for for today. We might come back with something else tomorrow. Maybe it'll be dessert. Maybe it'll be lunch. Maybe I'll show you how to make a PB and J, or maybe I'll just let Thomas do it because he really wants to show people that he knows how to make a PB and J. You'll be really enthused by that, but you won't understand a darn thing he says. <laughs> what you say? Maybe I'll let you do an episode. I got his hopes up. Now I'm going to have to actually hold myself to that word. So he's going to help me cook something tomorrow. I'm trying to figure out a way how to do root beer float cupcakes. My wife is getting tired. She really wants me to just let her eat this food. So we're going to try and make root beer float cupcakes. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. I'm still working out the kinks because I'm looking for sassafras or root beer extract. I know that Publix used to sell it, but I can't find it anywhere else. 
So we're going to try some different methods that involve using actual root beer in lieu of water. Sounds crazy, I know, but we're still going to try it. It's going to be delicious. We'll see you next time.